It's time for another youth video report, so here we go. Hey guys, here we are again uh, for another youth video report. As I said, we'll probably be doing one of these a day or maybe two like we did yesterday. And we'll throw some contests into there to see who actually is watching this thing. Uh, yesterday, as you know, Lily won the contest and so she gets free lunch today. And I'll be taking that over here in a little bit uh, for her. Um, but... Today, I want to talk to you about a verse of scripture from the book of Proverbs. I said yesterday, you know, we'll probably do try to do one of the Proverbs every day. And today, it's from Proverbs chapter 26, uh, verse 17. Uh, and it says, He who meddles in a quarrel, not his own, is like one who takes a passing dog by the ears. Now, I don't advise anybody ever to try to grab any dog by the ears, okay? It just wouldn't work out well for you, especially some dogs that are a little vicious. Uh, so I wouldn't try to do that. But what the passage is saying is sometimes we just need to mind our own business, right? Okay? And instead of like listening into what people are saying and then want to interject, you know, our thoughts about it, sometimes it's okay to just hear it see it and just walk away and just let people figure things out for themselves or just mind our own business because it has nothing to do with us. That's hard to do sometimes, I know. When you see somebody getting ready to what you think is a terrible mistake, you just want to say, don't do it. But sometimes we just have to let people do stuff, okay? Sometimes, because a lot of times they don't want our input. In fact, they would prefer not to hear from us. And some of y'all are out there saying, yeah, Jimmy, sometimes I'd like to not get your input. Uh, so, so how do we know when it's time to step in and try to help folks and when it's time to just mind our own business? I would say more times than not, leave it alone. Now, if you see someone could hurt themselves or harm someone else and they don't realize it at the time, maybe take the soft approach, pull them aside and say, hey, uh, Maybe I'm wrong about this, but this possibly could end up being a problem for you or for someone else. And maybe take that approach. The worst thing to do is to act like we know everything about a situation and say, hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Or try to say, you know, I wouldn't do that if I were you. A lot of times it's the tone in which we say things and how it comes across. And if we sound like, hey, I'm trying to tell you that if you do this, you're bad, or you don't know what you're talking about or don't know what you're doing, people just hear the tone and they don't really hear exactly what it is you're trying to protect them from or what you're trying to help them with because it doesn't seem like help. So remember, more times than not, it's best just to leave it alone and mind our own business. And maybe pray about it if we do decide that it's something we do want to talk to somebody about. All right, guys, I hope that helps you. Uh, we're going to probably do another one of these videos this afternoon. Uh, don't have a contest for today, but if you nobody won the contest from yesterday, so if you can tell me how many times Lily is in our intro video, uh, the intro of our video, then you will win a prize. She gets lunch today. It could be something different uh, tomorrow. But anyway, everybody, stay prayed up. Stay in your Bible, be smart, God bless, and we will see you a little bit later. Bye now.